Hello, this is Clark Jones with Play Ball Right, and I'm here today. We're going to break down the swing of Matt Miller. Matt Miller was a high school baseball player here in the city of Rochester, Minnesota. He played for John Marshall High School. Also, he went on to star at Grandview College in Iowa, and today we're looking at his swing. Now, when I break down swings and I do hitting analysis, there's really four areas that I pay particular attention to. The first area is the stance. Second thing I look at is their load. Third thing is the actual swing. And then we finish it off by looking at their follow through. So let's start off first by looking at Matt's stance. And you're going to hear me preach this time and time again. I'm an advocate of a wide stance. And we're going to just kind of draw his stance right now. Notice his toes are pointing straight forward and he does have a wide stance. I'm not a very good drawer, so bear with me on my illustrations. He's got a slight knee bend here. His body is erect, pretty straight up and down. He has a slight hitting V here, and his eyes are directed directly at the pitcher. So that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good workable stance. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clear that off. Next thing we're gonna look at is Matt's load. Now what a load is, is a lot of people, a lot of people uh, assume that a load has a lot to do with your power. It really doesn't. What a load is, is it's a timing device and, and merely nothing more than that. So let's look at how Matt uses his load as a timing device. Go ahead and move the frame. You see he's, his bat's going back his hands are going back and his foot's going to go forward. He's got a slight inward turn with his knee. His toe goes up, his front toe goes up. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that. So right here, his toe goes up, his knee went in a little bit, and his hands went back. Okay, so you have to go back before you go forward. All right, this is a very nice load. Okay, we're going to take that illustrations off there. And the next thing we're going to study is Matt's swing. All right, so he's in a good loaded up position. He's all cocked and coiled and ready to come forward. And let's just roll it here and take a look. His front foot is hit. Now you're going to start seeing the hips come through and the barrel coming through to the ball. Now on a swing, you know, you hear people preaching all the time, level swing, level swing. Well, an actual baseball swing is a combination of, of three different things. First of all, you're going to have the swing down toward the ball on a downward plane. Then when you make contact, it's actually on a level plane and you're going to square up the ball. And then after you make contact, your swing is going to start back on an upward fashion. So it's really down, level, and then back up again. So Matt's swing now is beginning to come forward. His head is down, as you can see. He's made contact. And we're, we're going to stop it at that point. We're going to back it up just a little bit. We can take a little more look at it here. Again, down, down, down. The head is down, the hips are turned. He's squishing the bug on his back toe, which means toe down, heel up. That helps him get his hips through. And we can draw that. We can see the hips here opening up like this. He's hitting off a front stiff leg. And back here on his backside, he's squishing the bug. Toe down, heel up. All right, we're going to race those illustrations. Now we're going to go to the last phase of his swing, which is the follow through. Let's take a look at Matt's follow through. Now in a follow through, it's very important um, that we follow through high. And the reason I advocate a high follow through is because it really aids uh, the player in rotational hitting and enables him to get his hips through and enables him to get that toe down and heel up and really uh, 
rotate as quickly as he possibly can. So that's why we advocate a high follow through. What we'd like to have happen is his top hand finishes up by his opposite ear. All right. Some people follow through with two hands on the bat. Others follow through with one hand on the bat. It really doesn't matter because it's after contact. Looks like Matt has two hands on the bat on his follow through. We'll take a look at it a little bit longer here. And let's just look at his follow through. Follows through high. His hips are all, all the way turned. And he's able to create maximum force. And that is a pretty good looking swing. That is a college baseball swing if I've seen one yet. Uh, I know Matt personally. Matt worked with me in high school. He also uh, played for me at Rochester Community and Technical College. And uh, as I said, was fortunate enough to go on and play uh, at a four-year school at a NAI, NAIA Power uh, Grandview in Iowa. All right. That includes our uh, hitting analysis today. My name is Clark Jones. I own a company along with my, uh, my lovely wife. Uh, it's called uh, Play Ball Right. And one aspect of our business is video analysis. And if you look at the, the um, uh, text there, you're going to see www.powerchalk.com forward slash Play Ball Right. And our website there is www.playballright.com. And then you can get a hold of us. Um, that's my web or that's my email address, Clark at playballright.com, and then my cell phone, 507-271-4520. If you're interested in lessons or video analysis, we'd love to work with you. Uh, give me a call, and uh, and we'll get together as soon as possible. But thanks for your time today. Hope you learned something from this uh, video, and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.